Hey there Titans, in this video I will show you how to get an instant URL for the Titan sign document. Alright, so uh, we have here a demo contract and we're mapping some fields from Salesforce. So let's take a look at the configuration here. So this is a dynamic from Salesforce and we have it configured to run on the account. And we have our account, uh, <clears throat> our condition is set to include the account ID equals the record ID. So we get the record that will be referenced to Titan. And we've done some mapping here. That's our first signer. So this field and this field are assigned to the account. This field and that signature are assigned to the account. And our second signer is a contact. It will just grab the first contact under the account. Uh, this is again just for demo purposes. All right, so we have everything set up and the signature and that field is assigned for the, for that uh, contact signer. All right, so we all know and love the, let me head over to Salesforce. We all know and love the FD generate document and then you can, whenever you want to send for a signature, you hit sign and then your users will get an email for a signature and I'll set it up with the tracking so I'll get every step of the way what happens. So if I'll check my inbox now. All right, so we got the email for a signature and if I'll click this guy, I will load my document for a signature with all the mappings in there. And if I sign it, we'll go into the next step We'll go to the contact now and the contact will be requested to sign. Everything is great. And when it's done, it's gonna publish the, the log and everything we set it up to do. That's wonderful. But what if you want more control over this in the sense of you wanna just get the URL for the document for the signature and deal with it from there. So now in Titan, the Titan package, we've added a way for you to do that. So let's dive right into this. So let's say that whenever an account is updated, and obviously you can have a lot more criteria in, in your flow or, or process builder, you can do anything you like. Let's say any contact that contains the name Titan, and uh, we will generate a link for it. So we can see we have a link here. Let's get rid of this and we'll do it from scratch. Wonderful. So we'll head over to setup, process builder, and you can do the same thing with the flow. You can do it with code and we'll demonstrate uh, with Apex at the end of the video. All right, let's hit a new one and we'll say get Titan sign instant log right we'll say a record changes and let's add an object we'll say account and save Let's add a condition, so we'll say account ID is not equals false, and we'll say name, and we'll say contains title. All right, so we have our criteria. Let's add an action. For the action, I'm going to select Apex, and then I'm going to say get Titan wonderful, and I'll search for Titan Titan sign instant URL. I'll select this, and 
we see that we have some required parameters and we'll go one by one and I'll explain what it is. All right, so we have a Boolean saying pre-prepare the document. What this means is from the moment you created the link till the moment the, the customer will sign it could be a long uh, span of time. And it depends on one of the next parameters, the URL expiration parameter. But let's say you set the URL expiration in minutes, you set it to 5,000. Now, from the moment you created the link till the moment the customer uh, would, would open it and sign it, it could be 2,500 minutes. And in this 2,500 minutes, your record could have been changed or uh, something in the parameters that you're mapping to your Titan sign document could be changed. So the pre-prepared document gives you the control when we run the mapping and, and make the document happen. If you choose it to true, the moment that you generate the URL, the document will be mapped and ready to go. If you choose false, the moment that the client will actually click on the URL, then we will map the data and prepare the document for the client. All right, we'll move on to the next field. Um, the API name of the field to save uh, the Titan sign instant URL. And it must be a long text or a rich text area with at least um, 1024 characters in it. What this will do is once we prepare the, the URL for you, we will push it back onto that field. So that field has to be within the same record you're triggering the process builder or the flow form. And then we will push it, we will save the URL onto that um, field. So in my instance, I have prepared a custom field and I named it long text. So the API name for this, you can head over to the, um, you can head over to the object settings and check it there. Sorry about that. So let's take a look. I know it's long text underscore underscore C, but it's always uh, good to verify. So let's go to the object settings. And I'll head over to fields and relationships, long text. And I can see that the API name is long text underscore underscore C. So I'll head back to the process builder. We'll put it there. And the record ID is basically the record ID that you'll be sending to Titan. Um, that will be a field reference since we want to send the account ID that triggered the process builder. And we'll hit choose. And form hash that you will get from the Titan sign builder. So we'll head back to our document here. And I'll go to document and Salesforce configuration and I'll click Apex process builder slash flow. And here is our FT form hash. I'm just going to double click this, copy and paste. Let's do this 30 minutes and I'll hit save. It's activated. Wonderful. And now let's head back to our account and we will say, Let's edit this and I'll say, now I'll give it a moment and I'll refresh. And let's head over to details and let's give it another refresh. and details and there we are we have our url now if i'll head over to the related we can see that we have one titan sign document in here since the client didn't yet press the document so if i'll click on the link so i'll head back to the details that will take a second because we're preparing the document that moment creating everything for you and now once we have the link, uh, once we have the um, document pulled up, so imagine this would be a customer pulling this up, 
you can have a, you will have the Titan sign document tracking live and then we can see all the steps uh, sent and viewed and if I'll sign it I will move on to let's sign it real quick wonderful and if I'll refresh this guy now I should see that step one is completed and here it is, and step, uh, step zero is completed, sorry, and step one has is, is already been sent to the contact to sign. All right, wonderful. Now let's see how we can use this in, in real life. So what we can do is once we have the URL, you can map it into your email templates and send an email to the customer with that URL. So you might do something like the following. So we'll head over to setup. We'll go to... Uh, classic email templates and let's create a new one and we'll do uh, let's do custom we'll do next available for use we'll do Python sign instant URL Uh, a subject can be dynamic. We'll do hello. See, link to sign doc. Hit next. And let's grab, you can say hello. Let's do hello. And then let's grab an account field. We'll select the account name. And then we can do here the link. We'll do, let's do this href equals, and then we'll map our long text since it contains our URL. So we'll grab the long text and we'll put it, try and make it bigger here. We'll put it in the href and we'll say please click here we'll do click here to sign wonderful and then my, probably we'll do divs and much more nicer looking uh, email template than, than this but just to demonstrate how it could uh, use this um, let's just do I don't know how this will run so let's do a, a BR here just to make sure we get another line down and then another BR here and then thanks wonderful hit next for the text we don't need anything in my instance I just want to do a quick demo all right wonderful we see the link everything here let's uh, try and test this out so I'll head over to my account and I'll go to the email section and let's send this to cdoformtitan.com. And let's select a template, insert template. I think it was in some folder, but let's try and find this. All right, there we go. Titan sign instant URL. We'll insert this. Great. We have this, we see uh, the link is linked to our you can see in the bottom of the window if i'll click this we'll go here we'll obviously uh, go already to the contact which is great now we can shoot this email and just to show you how you can use this uh, cool new feature and here's the email 
that we got from Salesforce. And if I'll click this, I'll be able to get into the document. Now I'll show you how to use this with uh, Apex. We'll open setup and we'll take a look at the form Titan package. So packages, installed packages. And we'll head over to form Titan and we'll take a look at the components. And let's see, Titan sign, instant URL. We're going to here, and we see that we have the get Titan sign, instant URL that returns a string. So let's call this guy from, uh, let's open a workbench, and we'll call it, and we'll see how this works. So we see it accepts four parameters. Uh, record ID, form hash, expiration, and auto generate. All these parameters we've seen in the uh, process builder as well. So let's uh, let me open up Workbench and we'll run a quick uh, Apex code and I'll show you how this runs. All right, so uh, let's grab the namespace form builder. Dot, grab the class name, and we'll grab the method. So get Titan instant URL, and let's pass in our record ID first. So it's the account record ID. And obviously you do this uh, dynamically with the Apex code, however you like, you can run it from anywhere. Uh, next one is form hash, expiration, and auto generate. So let's grab the form hash again. So we'll head over to the document, settings, document access, Salesforce configuration. We'll grab the process builder, um, FT form hash, and we'll put it in here. Next one up, we have expiration. It's, it's an integer, we'll give it 10 minutes and we'll do false for auto-generate. Let's assign this to a string and let's run system debug for the res and let's run this. And here is our URL in return. This is our result. Uh, here is the URL. And from here, you'll be able to take it and use it as you wish. And this is how it's done.